Not the pain, but the soreness, you know. Yes. Um, and that's probably things changing. <coughs> yeah, so. Down to yeah. that. So it, was, it didn't stop the swelling. Yep. And but, the swelling can take a little bit longer to come yeah, down, that's right. I can put my feet up the wall and it fixes that. Yeah, so when I worked mm. on you last night, it, it, was, it was down that side, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. the right side. It was all that right side, mm. and you'd have that pain for 20 yeah. years. Yes, yeah. 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 well, it's got progressively worse. Mm. Um, yeah. yeah. So, and I thought, well, I'll come and see you again tonight yeah. and see if you can do something for me in my neck where my, my ear passages seem to keep collapsing. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it can happen any time and I find myself going, <laughs> making a funny and, noise. And it's quite a critical one, that. That's why they pulled her out, because without air, <laughs> you can't really hear, can you? So it is something that we need to work on, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So you had a good night's sleep last night, I eh? couldn't believe it. I kept waking up. Because you see, to, to turn over in bed, it's, it's a major. Yeah. Because of the pain. So you grip your teeth and do it. Um, um, but mainly, I, just stay, I go to bed to stay in the same position. Mm. Psychologically, over the years, I just stay still and it won't hurt. Yeah. Yeah, so, and then when I got up, my knees are going. What, what, what? And then crap with that one. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what that's about, but I presume it's. Things Energy moving and something's going right. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Right, let's see. So I'm very pleased with that. Excellent. Okay. Let's see what we can do with your breathing. Doesn't help with my asthma either. Mm. There's a lot of asthma in New Zealand, a lot more asthma here than there is in the UK. I found that being around olive trees does it to me. Oh yeah, yeah. It can be different things for different people. Yeah. It's particularly bad around the Tamaki area we found. But different people are affected by different pollens, different plants, mm -hmm. and it can be sprays and pesticides that are being used in areas. Now we're not necessarily going to know during this session if he's fixed it. It could be weeks <coughs> later that you could report back and say, oh yeah, I've not had any more problems. Because it's one of those things where those tubes can collapse on you or not, can't they? So, yes. Yeah. yeah. You guys, if you're not already sending the healing, yeah, put your hands in your laps and just intend healing because it just speeds it up, and that way I get through more healings and help the people. E Through me, one of the main ones that works through me is a guy called Dr. Augusto de Almeida, who's been in spirit world 200 years. And one day, I was very much in awe of him and what he could do. And the response that I got back from him was this: Look, if you've been in spirit world 200 years without a wife, <laughs> without kids, without <coughs> bills to pay, you would think and act as he does. He doesn't see himself as superior to us in any way. He's just spent 200 years in spirit world without children without bills to pay, without a job to hold down, learning this stuff. And now he serves us because his thinking is that if he helps us, we in turn will help others. At some stage he's going to reincarnate. His offspring already reincarnated on the earth. And we all need to get on together and, and have a peaceful world. Now, what can you feel happening at the moment? Um. It, it, it feels like um, something sort of blocking. It feels like there's a lump 
Yeah. That's right. Yeah. E Yeah. Awesome, give a round of applause.